Biotic factors, abiotic factors. Biotic factors are living factors that affect another organism or shapes the environment. These are basically ways in which living organisms can affect one another, such as animals, plants, bacteria, fungi, etc. There are different biotic factors, for example, predation, availability of food, disease, competition for resources or habitat. So, let's go through each. An increase in predators can result in population of species to fall. Likewise, a decrease in predators can result in an increase in prey. If availability of food reduces, then the number of organisms will also reduce. Organisms competing for resources can also affect the population. Organisms that are outcompeted can result in extinction. Abiotic factors. Abiotic factors are non-living factors that affect organisms. For example, temperature, light intensity, water, soil pH and mineral content, and gases. Remember that organisms are well adapted to live in specific environments. Therefore, any change in these factors can affect the organism. Now let's go through each. Both an increase or decrease in temperature can affect organisms that are well adapted to live in specific climates. This can result in migration. A reduction in light intensity can affect the rate of photosynthesis, which will ultimately affect food availability. This is because both plants and animals also need water for survival. Therefore, a change in the water level can also affect organisms. Soil pH and mineral content is an important abiotic factor for plants. Different plants need a specific pH and minerals in the soil. Carbon dioxide and oxygen are gases. Plants require carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Therefore, a decrease in carbon dioxide level will also affect the rate of photosynthesis. Lastly, a fall in the level of oxygen, for example on hot days, can affect sea organisms. In summary, biotic factors are living factors, abiotic factors are non-living factors.